readers and viewers of Embassy Direct. Once again, we are in our new segment, Former to Former. Today, with the pleasant presence of our good friend, Katia Deleva from the Republic of Bulgaria. Katia, how are you today, my dear? Hello, Rodrigo. I'm so glad to, to see you. And uh, I'm very good. Uh, we have a sunny day. Uh, and uh, I appreciate your idea to, to make this interview with uh, former colleagues. And uh, it makes us uh, uh, together just to, to remember the old good times in South Africa. And talking about those old good times in South Africa, please share about your experiences while you were the ambassador of your country in, in South Africa. So it was uh, some, uh, uh, I spent uh, five and uh, more than five years in South Africa. It was between uh, 2011 and 2016. Uh, and uh, it was my first posting as ambassador, uh, although I spent all my life with the foreign ministry. Uh, and uh, I, I was uh, very, very proud to, to, to get this posting because uh, South Africa was for me uh, always a very attractive and very interesting uh, country. And uh, uh, reading and listening about South Africa was uh, different to what I saw there. It was uh, much more interesting and uh, uh, I spent uh, very, very good years, uh, unforgettable years in uh, South Africa. Uh, so we have uh, very good uh, relations with uh, South Africa and uh, uh, we gave uh, our support to, to many uh, South African students before before the independence, uh, and uh, we uh, last year we celebrated uh, thirty years of uh, diplomatic relations, uh, and uh, uh, a monument of uh, Nelson Mandela was uh, inaugurated in Sofia, in a central place in Sofia. What uh, it was, uh, how to say? I was uh, very glad to to uh, for this because uh, Nelson Mandela, for me and for Bulgarians, is a uh, very. Um, I don't have enough uh, words to. Uh, to, to to say about him, but uh, I I like him very much. I love him, and uh, so and uh, this uh, monument was the work uh, of uh, two uh, people, uh, Bulgarian and uh, South African. They uh, did it together. Uh, so uh, in uh, South Africa, we have. Uh, um, for us, for a small country uh, like Bulgaria, uh, a big uh, Bulgarian community, about uh, 25, 30,000 Bulgarians. Uh, most of them, they are uh, very well uh, established there and uh, with, uh, they are highly educated with good professions like uh, doctors, engineers, and uh, and others. And uh, in uh, Johannesburg, they had their uh, Bulgarian center and the Bulgarian school for for the children. And I was helping them to uh, to. Uh, to start constructing a Bulgarian church. And uh, uh, fortunately, we uh, managed to make the, how to say, to, the first dip or um, to make the foundation uh, just, uh, just two months before I, uh, I was leaving South Africa. And now it's under construction still. 
and it will be the the first church orthodox church uh, bulgarian orthodox church in south africa and on the african continent also and uh, we try to to travel in South Africa, and it was always a very big pleasure for us uh, and to, to make people, to make uh, friendships. Uh, we left a lot of uh, friends in South Africa. Uh, and uh, what to say, uh, my husband was uh, in a group with uh, the ambassador's spouses and they, they had uh, very uh, wonderful moments and uh, I joined them from time to time. Uh, they still keep very good contacts and uh, I'm delighted to, to say it and to, to be part of it. No, no I, I do remember that, uh, Katia. And actually, I know that uh, or, or Lynn, your, your husband, he was... Uh, a member of the bridge club so, yes, so yes. we had him visiting a few times at our our residence so yeah i know that they had a very good time while uh, we were working but nevertheless i wanted to mention that after uh, you left south africa i noticed that your uh, successors were uh, also women and i wanted to ask you is this like a common practice of your foreign ministry to appoint ladies as their head of missions overseas? Uh, common practice, I would say maybe this uh, last uh, 10 or 15 years, uh, uh, women are uh, getting more and more posts as ambassadors. Uh, uh, it wasn't like this before. Uh, so I'm very glad to to see that uh, in many countries uh, and even in South Africa, ladies is taking this pose. Um, yes, it's a good thing. Yeah, no, no definitely. Yes. So the role of the woman is is taken into consideration and. What advice would you give to the new heads of mission that are coming to South Africa to take a post? What, based on your experience, what are your recommendations for your colleagues? Uh, you know, in principle, I don't <laughs> like to give <laughs> recommendations and tips and things like that, but uh, I can share my experience. Uh, uh, I just tell them to, to be curious, uh, to to discover the, the country as uh, um, deeply as possible, to, to meet people, to, to, to make friendships, uh, uh, you know, when and to listen to, to people. Uh, I, uh, how to say, I don't like this uh, behavior uh, because uh, I may say that uh, some of uh, of the Europe, Europeans are uh, behaving like, uh, you know, not like France, but uh, uh, like uh, superior people giving, uh, mm, uh, giving uh, advices, giving, uh, you know, I don't like this. Uh, uh, you have to, to make friends. Uh, to understand people, it's uh, uh, a very uh, the the cultural the diversity of this country is uh, amazing. Uh, so you have uh, uh, so many different uh, uh, people with different languages uh, and uh, cultural uh, traditions uh, so uh, they can learn a lot of things in, in South Africa so I love uh, Africa I my I'm uh, uh, I, I studied the uh, history of Africa and an African language uh, but from uh, it's, it's from West Africa, not South Africa. Uh, so uh, I've been posted to Zimbabwe also some years before South Africa. 
so for me africa is something um, very very special definitely for many of us, of us it is and finally katia you know it's the 10th anniversary of embassy direct uh, while you were here uh, the 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 magazine was actually already in, uh, open and, and accessible to all our missions so would you like to send a, any special message or advice to our recommendations to our our platform? Uh, 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 yes, I would like to send my uh, best regards uh, to to your platform. I uh, appreciate uh, what uh, you are doing and uh, uh, and uh, through you to send my regards to my former colleagues and to, to my friends in South Africa. Uh, advice is what you are doing your uh, a wonderful job so <laughs> so continue and uh, we'll be happy to to see you to follow you thank you so much katia readers and viewers friends this has been uh, our friend katia from bulgaria uh, and we hope to see you soon around south africa have a good yes day. I'll yeah, have a good day.